It's Wednesday and weather at your school morning. We're here in Wells at Wells Junior High School hanging out with the sixth graders. We had a lot of fun. We talked a lot about the meteorology, really got into the science of it. We talked about how we measure the weather. We talked about extreme storms from hurricanes, uh, category five hurricanes, what an EF5 tornado can do. We also talked a lot about winter storms. We're gearing up for winter, aren't we? Yeah. What type of storms do we get in Maine in winter? What are those big storms called? Nor'easters, right? Did you guys learn a lot today? Yeah. Okay, feeling the energy right from the studio. Of course, uh, definitely always a wonderful moment there as Ted educates the kids and they're having fun for sure learning about weather. All right, October high temperatures. We've been spoiled the first week. I guess I don't have to tell you this. We all remember it seems like a distant memory now with 80s earlier on. Now we're back to average or even slightly below average and we're going to continue on that cooler trend over the next uh, several days into the next week. You see a lot more cooler colors moving into the northeast through mid October. Guys. All right, Radek, thank you. When major events happen around the world, many of us feel encouraged to donate to charities that might be able to help. But unfortunately, this is also a time where scammers look to take advantage and steal your money. Our chief national consumer correspondent, Jeff Rawson, is helping us make sure we're donating to a legitimate charity. Hi, uh, yeah, as the war between Israel and Hamas unfolds and we see those awful images, maybe you're feeling compelled to help. I know so many of you are texting me asking, who do I donate to? We want to make sure you're donating to the right places and keeping clear of scammers. First thing you should know, if someone reaches out through text, email, or a phone call, don't just agree to donate. Instead, take the name of the charity, type it into a search engine to make sure it's legitimate. Then search its name plus review or the name plus scam. If you find bad reviews, maybe best to find another organization. There are also databases you can type the name into. Here are a few from the FTC. The BBB Wise Giving Alliance, Charity Navigator, I love Charity Navigator, and Charity Watch. So cross-reference it with those. Some familiar charities doing work overseas right now and during most international disasters, Doctors Without Borders, the International Committee of the Red Cross, and the United Nations. Hope this helps. Back to you. Some of the first UAW workers on strike are now struggling to make ends meet. How donations and high spirits are keeping them going.
All right, welcome back everybody taking a live look outside right now from gray at the weather service and we are indeed dealing with a very solid overcast here and that's why it's kind of getting dark and of course stays getting shorter. The late afternoon is starting to look rather uh, rather dim, if you will. So we get into tonight back down into the 40s for a lot of us. Another seasonally chilly overnight. The rain chance is very low. Now we get into tomorrow afternoon and especially for inland areas, there will be a few scattered showers around. There will be light, but again, uh, something to keep in mind. Otherwise, more clouds than that sunshine temperatures on either side of the low 60s for you then. Right now, they're already dropping through the 50s for just about everybody. Still holding on to the 60 degree mark over towards Lewiston, Auburn, Augusta, and Wiscasset. But as we zoom out on that national view, still talking about this low pressure system that's south of the Hudson Bay. We're kind of around it, and we're going to be getting in on a lot of clouds. And again, those scattered light showers. You do notice these are very light greens here on the radar. So that indicates more so of a sprinkles and light rain versus anything overly heavy. Uh, it's not, again, the strongest storm system indeed. As we get closer to the weekend, the news is much better here. Uh, we're definitely clearing out. There'll be more sunshine. I'm just calling it nice. I mean, that's pretty good for Saturday with the with the sun in low 60s. Uh, seasonably cool start both of those days as well. As we look at Storm Tracker again, showing you where those showers may set up, and it's mainly going to be an